Hi, my name is Dr. Christine Gisoni, and I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Anatomy at the University of Otago in Dunedin, New Zealand. My co-authors are also in the Department of Anatomy at Otago, and they are Amanda Wyatt, Dr. Monica Zavodna, John Villejuen, Dr. Joanne Stanton, and Professor Neil Gemmel. Our group is interested in understanding how environmental influences can affect gene expression in order to modulate brain activity and function. This study was concerned with puberty, the attainment of reproductive maturity, which can be dramatically influenced by the environment. Work over the past 10 years has identified a peptide called kispeptin as a major driver of puberty onset. Kispeptin gene expression increases dramatically in the lead up to puberty, and when it binds to its receptor on responsive cells, it drives the awakening of the reproductive axis. Thus, in this study, we focused on the kispeptin neurons located in a region of the brain called the anteroventral periventricular region of the third ventricle, which are the neural drivers of puberty. We also focused on the gonadotropin releasing hormone, or GNRH neurons, which are responsive to kisp1 actions and therefore express the kispeptin receptor. Because DNA methylation can modulate gene activity, and since methylation is responsive to the environment, our study was designed to address a series of reasonably fundamental questions having to do with the possibility that changes in methylation form the basis of environmentally responsive puberty onset. To do this, we used bisulfite PCR pyrosequen sequencing in order to define methylation patterns in the proximal promoter region of the KISS-1 and KISS-1R genes before and after puberty in female rats. Before beginning the study, we had used a bioinformatic analysis to identify the potential sites for differential methylation within the promoters for these two genes. We found that both promoters contained numerous residues that could potentially be differentially methylated in order to modulate gene expression. This verified that differential methylation was indeed a good candidate for a strategy that could re regulate the onset of gene expression at puberty. In this study, we then asked whether methylation of either promoter changed with puberty. That is, was the pattern of methylation before puberty different from the pattern after puberty, which would provide circumstantial evidence that methylation is involved in gene expression changes at puberty. This is very important because it means that our study forms a solid foundation on which further studies that examine the regulation of promoter methylation by environmental factors could be explored. Having established the differential puberty-specific patterns of promoter methylation, we next asked whether puberty-related methylation changes correspond to changes in gene expression, which would be a necessary precondition for methylation to be the link between environment and gene expression. Here, we discovered that the KISS-1 promoter showed methylation changes that corresponded quite nicely to the upregulation of KISS-1 gene expression at the time of puberty. The KISS-1 receptor, however, showed no change in expression, <clears throat> despite having a distinct puberty-specific pattern of promoter methylation. Obviously, for this gene, further investigation is required in order to understand the functional relationship between promoter methylation and gene activity. To make a start along these lines, we used an in silico analysis with the TESS software from the University of Pennsylvania in order to identify the potential transcription factors whose binding may be modulated by differential promoter methylation. This analysis identified a number of both positive and negative regulators whose binding could be modulated by the presence or absence of methylation. The control of puberty is a rapidly moving and popular field. The studies we report in genetics and epigenetics will form a critical element of the foundation for further examination of the control of gene expression across the pubertal transition. 